All right, going for a cruise today, meeting up with Jared Cooper, and we're gonna go check out some trails. I decided to park at Brad's house because it's real close to where we're headed. And we'll see how it goes because I think the trails might, sorry, the sun's probably in the camera. I think the trails might not exist, but we're gonna go find out. So Jared and I went to check these trails out because we found them on Gaia and we we're looking on the National Geographic layer. It looks like they're definitely marked as motorized trails on the National Geographic layer. But after talking to some people and kind of checking into it a little more, I think if they ever were motorized trails, they are not any longer. It looks like uh, the mountain bike guys have uh, kind of adapted them, been cleaning them up and been using them. So I'm not gonna list where we were at, because uh, I don't want more motorcycles on there. I guess it was our mistake for being on there, but uh, we won't be doing that again. You all right? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty easy from there. Whew. That's gnarly. The map shows this as a motorized trail, but I'm starting to wonder. How was that, Jared? Oh. It's tricky. <laughs> yeah, that's a workout. It was easier the second time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Woo. So we got St. Helens, Rainier, Adams, and Hood. Is that Jefferson way up there? Uh... Yeah, probably. Huh. That's pretty cool. We're at Lookout Mountain. We did one trail, mostly old abandoned logging roads on the way up here. It was pretty neat though. Um, Jared's bike was pissing coolant, so hopefully it's not an issue. Hopefully it's just the elevation and the, the long steady pull on the way here and it's hopefully fine. That's the plan anyway. If not, then we'll have to coast him down as far as he can on the 42 and get back to sunset and grab it with the ranger. Made it to Cougar Rock. For those of you guys kind of wondering about the 250F, whether it's like a good trail bike uh, compared to a lot of the other dedicated trail bikes, uh, I think it is. So here's some clips kind of showing that. Mine's uh, relatively stock, just geared down a little bit, and a good rear tire and a moose in the rear. But that's all that I've done to it. So there you go.
I might have screwed up here. I screwed it up. Uh, I followed this trail and pretty good traveled trail. Um, but it's kind of steep. I come down to the bottom and it just dives off a cliff into no man's land. So I'm by myself. I got to make it out of here. I don't know if I can or not, but I'll give her a shot. The camera ended up dying here, but I did eventually finally make it out after a few tries, even though I don't on this try. Nope. June 10th, and we had a lot of snow this year, and there's still some you can see over there, but we made it all the way up to the big rock pit on the 93. Oh, and we're done. Well, we're doing Cusset Hollow Trail and we get across the water here there's definitely some snow where the first ones threw it this year so we'll see how the water crossing goes What an awesome day it is out. This is pretty cool on a Friday, getting to cruise trails. So this new seat by Seat Concepts is awesome, especially because I got a new Olin's rear shock. So it lifted it up like, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or something. So I was, my confidence level went down a little bit because my tiny little baby legs don't really reach the ground very well. But then this seat dropped my butt height down back about where it was before. So better suspension, about the same seat height, makes it real good since last year. I actually, it, this is the first real ride since I did that stuff. So pretty cool. The gravel's loose today, but uh, the views are awesome up top you can't really see them on the gopro so i'm not even gonna put them in but um yeah we're gonna keep cruising 